friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, and today I want to show you how to create a slimline card. They're very popular, and for me, the only thing holding me back was I needed to figure out the measurements. So that's what I want to show you today. Let's get started. I'm going to pull out my Stampin' Paper Trimmer so that I can trim my paper to the right size. And the paper I'm using is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of Whisper White cardstock. I'm going to be trimming it to nine inches on the long side by seven and a half inches on um, the shorter side. So nine by seven and a half, that's the measurement you need to create the slimline card. And then you're going to score at three and three quarters. Get that lined up and we'll use our score blade here at three and three quarters inches. Okay. Now we're gonna take that out and burnish it. Fold and burnish so that our fold is really nice. And now we're gonna cut um, a piece to come in as the second piece in our card layer and it's going to be a piece of granny apple green and that piece is going to be cut at eight and three quarters inches by three and a half. Pull this over so you can see it. Okay. Great, and now we're going to adhere the Granny Apple Green piece to the Whisper White piece, and it makes such a nice, uh, such a nice little framing there. It just really starts our card off nice. I'm going to adhere it with multi-purpose glue right on the front there, and that's basically that's the base of your. Of your slimline card. You can just build from there. So I'm going to show you how I created the card that you saw in the beginning. I'm going to put on a strip of the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper, eight and a quarter inches by one and three quarter. These card, the slimline card is long and has more area to decorate, so you need to think about that when you're creating your card and planning it out. So this kind of spans the length. Now I'm going to use the Pine Tree Punch, which is in the annual catalog, and I'm gonna punch out three trees also from the Heartwarming Hugs Designer Series paper. That is from the August to December 2020 mini catalog. And I'm gonna punch out two red trees and one green tree. There are so many beautiful patterns to choose from. And then I'm going to create my sentiment, which is from the perfectly plaid stamp set. It's the one that coordinates with the pine tree punch. And I'm gonna use the Merry Christmas stamp. I want to use something that's bold and sort of a large sentiment because our slimline card is a bit large. So I'm going to just stamp that on a scrap of Whisper White cardstock, and I'm going to punch it out with the Everyday Label Punch. I thought this is a nice punch, and it will um, it gives it a nice frame. The, it, this sentiment fits in it just perfectly. Okay, so now we're going to put our sentiment on there with... Um, Stampin' Dimensionals, we're gonna raise it up. I want to have it a little bit to the right. As I said, the card itself is long, and so we need to have decoration on both ends, and we need to think about that. So I'm gonna put it right about here, kind of to the right of the center. And then I'm gonna start with my, with my trees, and I'm gonna use a Stampin' Dimensional for this tree. And it really, the little trees just take one Stampin' Dimensional. They're so cute. And I'm going to adhere this so that it comes over this sentiment a little bit. I'm going to take another one, another tree, one of the red ones, 
and adhere that over on the left side. That brings in our activity on the left. And then the other red one, I'm actually going to use um, multi-purpose glue again. Not too much, but because the first one was raised up, this one can tuck nicely right under there. And this kind of a design gives you, it spans the, the breadth of the slimline card. Now I have a little tiny bow that I'm going to adhere with um, a little uh, glue dot, mini glue dot. And this bow is from the Playful Pets Trim Combo Pack. And I think it's just, it, the ribbon is so cute and it goes so well. Just thin and really cute. And the final thing we're going to do is add some rhinestone toppers to our trees. And I'm going to use the bigger rhinestones so they show up really nicely. You've got to have bling on your card, right? We all have to have it. I mean, or it's not a fancy card, and especially being a Christmas card, we've got to have some bling. And there we go. There's your slimline card. Now, I want to tell you, I got, I ordered some envelopes from Amazon. They're um, uh, resume envelopes, which are the same size as legal, but they don't have that funny lining on the inside. So it, it makes a much nicer look for the envelopes for your slimline card. So I hope you've enjoyed my... Uh, pretty quick tutorial and a pretty quick tip on how to make the slimline card. Have a great day. Bye-bye.